Hey, hey, you guys, Stockton here from Better Than Data. And in this video, we're going to be taking a deeper look at different connectors that can connect to Looker Studio and GA4. So the purpose of this is to kind of review what the connectors are out there currently and see how fast we still hit the quotas or if they are actually kind of a viable solution to getting around this whole quotas and API limit uh, thing that Google has announced with GA4 and Looker Studio. So we're gonna be exploring four connectors. One of them is the GA4 native connector, and we're going to just try and break it. We're gonna see what happens when we apply lots of different day ranges and things like that to see what data and how fast it's returned and uh, if we hit start hitting the different API limits. So uh, that is what we are going to be doing in this video. Now, of course, if you head on over to betterthandata.com forward slash YouTube, then you can come and fill out this form here, which will give you instant access to a training library on how to set up conversion tracking for certain platforms. So right now we support WooCommerce, we support ThriveCard, we support Shopify, and for each one of those, we provide both the data layer and the pre-built container where all you have to do is input a few of your details and it will spit out for you a personalized pre-built container. So combine that with the data layer, you can have your conversion tracking set up within minutes. All right, let's jump into now how we can uh, test this. So first of all, I guess let's review what the problem is. So Google Analytics 4 has introduced these quota limits for um, tools accessing its data via the API, via the data API, the reporting uh, API. You can see over here, Google Analytics Data API for GA4. Maybe I can zoom in here a little bit. All right. So what it's saying is that there are now quotas and there's quotas around core, uh, the core category, real-time category, and funnel. So each one of these has a bit different quotas. Mostly what you're going to see with a Looker Studio connector is going to be the core. So we're looking at the core quota category here. So if we follow those along here, there is both a daily quota limit, there's a per hour quota limit, there's a per project per hour. Now, the way I interpret this per project, meaning per like external device accessing the API. And then there's a concurrent request limit as well, which is 10. Now, as you're gonna see in this report, we have uh, two minute reports, we have GA4 native, we have Supermetrics, and we have Power My Analytics as the four connectors that we are testing. There are one, two, three, four, five, six scorecards per one. So as we reload this, there can only be 10 concurrent requests. Well, already in just one of the connectors, we have six just in the scorecards. So you can see how, like, how are they going to handle this? Uh, it's going to be partly of what we're experimenting here is how are these different tools going to handle being throttled by the 10 concurrent request limit? So those are the different requests there. It's saying, you know, each request consumes a quota for the hour and the day uh, quota limits. So everything is going to be going against it there. And then it kind of goes into why you might be consuming a lot of tokens. All right, so here's the setup. We have two minute reports. We've got the GA4 native. We've got Supermetrics that we're testing and Power My Analytics. Each one has the exact same kind of setup. There's six scorecards with a small table of data. This is just better than data data. So it's like super small numbers here, but we're gonna see if we can break this. So the first thing I wanna do is let's start with um, just small date ranges, right? Because we want to start consuming the quota. So here you can see J4 native was the first one, followed by Power My Analytics. Supermetrics is still loading. Two minute reports is still loading. So like there, you can already see some some interesting things about these connectors. Uh, looks like the Power My Analytics connector matches what the GA4 native connector has. And even now that Supermetrics, like the data seems to match, and even here, so everything seems to match. It's just Supermetrics and two minute reports took a bit longer. And it could be because they were just throttled by that 10 requests per second limit. So they were retrying in the background. So they're like, okay, we have to keep like, the G4 native and Supermetrics already took up the quota, right? So now we have to wait and uh, do that. So that was, uh, that's today's data. 
let's look at yesterday. And again, we're just trying to do requests. So G4 native, boom, bam. Power My Analytics was the first one last time. Looks like Supermetrics is first this time. Does it match? 16, 8, 80, 220. Yeah, so it looks like it's matching pretty well. Then we got Power My Analytics coming in second, uh, third, and then two minute reports coming in. So data still so far seems to be matching. Okay, so let's just go keep going down our list of date functions here to see, okay, G4 native loaded up. This is good. We're just testing this, right? We wanna see if we can break it. We wanna see what happens. So what I'm particularly interested in is what happens when the GA4 native connector starts giving us errors. What happens with the other connectors? And that's where the viability of them being useful or not is really going to come into play. So it looks like so far the data is all matching between all of them. Let's just keep changing some date range here, going down. So each one of these should fetch new data. Oh, that one already loaded up. Yes, yeah, so the G4 native connector is pretty fast. Maybe it gets priority somehow. I don't know. Supermetrics was then Power My Analytics, and then Two Minute Reports is coming in third. So far, the data is all matching, unless I'm missing something. I think it is. So, all right, let's keep changing our date range here. Dang, that one's fast. Okay, usually it's between these two next. Okay, Supermetrics, Power My Analytics, then Two Minute Reports. It seems to be the trend here. J4 native, then Supermetrics then Power My Analytics, then Two Minute Reports. It's coming in. Does the data match? Yes, it does. All right, let's keep going down. And maybe we'll fast forward going through all these different tests until the GA4 native connector runs out. Because it actually, it runs out pretty fast uh, as we keep doing these different requests. Okay, waiting for Power My Analytics. Two Minute Reports. Oh, two minute reports beat Power My Analytics on this one. But again, it's probably just those concurrent requests limit that it has to wait for the request to finish before so far the data is matching though. This one's taking quite a while. Okay, Power My Analytics broke. <laughs> Didn't work. Let's keep moving on. Okay, let's just let's jump to this month. As we start getting to bigger date ranges, we'll start to see more and more um, like things taking longer, I think, because it's got to load in more data, it's got to use more tokens, it's got to hit those quota limits. So we're kind of just exploring what happens as we extend the date range. So two minute reports came in, actually matches. Two minute reports beat Supermetrics and Power My Analytics with a bigger date range. Interesting. Super small data though. Okay, so waiting for Supermetrics and Power My Analytics to come in. All right, I uh, do not know what's happening, but Supermetrics and Power My Analytics are struggling right now. Let's do a bigger day range. So let's go this quarter. Let's pull up that. So G4, bam, connected. These other ones still waiting. My guess now, geez, with uh, super, there's Supermetrics, okay. I was gonna say, man, my guess is that two minute reports is gonna load first. There's Power My Analytics, and now it's loading last. Super funny. Okay, so some learnings must be just all related to the concurrent request limits and longer date range does maybe more requests, I don't know. More tokens used. Does the data match? It does, okay, so things are looking pretty good. Let's go this, let's go last quarter. Shouldn't be any data really, but yeah, no data. Let's see if it just turns us all zeros. <laughs> yeah, no data, no data, zero. So that's interesting. The GA4 connector that returns zero, whereas the other connectors return no data. Okay, that is super interesting. So let's do this year to date. So that should have some data. Okay, boom, GA4. Supermetrics, Power My Analytics. And two minute reports coming in last. Okay, now what we're gonna do as soon as this loads up is I'm gonna just fast forward to when 
I'm going to keep changing date ranges, things like that, to when the GA4 native connection actually times out, uh, reaches the quota limit, and then we'll see what happens with the other connectors. How are they going to handle that? So let's jump ahead. All right, so I made a bunch of changes, uh, like changing the day range a ton, and finally the GA4 native connector, it didn't take that long actually, uh, now shows a quota error. So let's reset, and then what I would expect, so because we reset, this data has already been cached, right? Because it's already loaded this date range. But what if we go back and choose a date range that it hasn't loaded the data for and see if the GA4 connector times out. So GA4 native connector gives us a uh, quota error. So let's see what happens with the other connectors. So Supermetrics actually returned some data. How my analytics return data? These guys actually have the same data, so that's interesting. And then let's see what happens with the two minute reports. Let's see if it returns data and if it's the same, if it matches the other connectors. Because the GA4 native is already timed out, it's tapped out, it's reached the quota, it's hit its limits. The other two seem to work. So let's stress test the other two now. So here we go, four, five, seven, six, seven, four, five, seven. Okay, so that matches. Let's keep going. So let's just change this to be 36. And what is going to happen? So four, five, seven, six, seven. That's what it was before. Just kind of spot checking those two numbers. Still getting quota limits on the GA4 native. All right, so it's been a few minutes already. Power My Analytics has nothing. Supermetrics did return some information as well as two-minute reports. They have the same information. So those two seem to be rocking strong. Let's change it again and see what happens. So we still have a, our quota error limit from GA4 native, but two-minute reports and Supermetrics seem to be returning the same information still. Uh, we can't verify exactly if it's you know right compared to the GA4 native. Uh, you know, matches G4 native, but we can tell that they are still returning information. Two minutes reports coming in first place after G4 native connector has run out. Waiting for Supermetrics and Power My Analytics to return some information as well. Okay, it looks like for this date range, all three of the other connectors return data, and they returned the same data so far. So 462, all the way across the board. 946 across the board. But one thing that has been super apparent is that all of these are way slower, like so slow. I'm pausing it and waiting a few minutes for this data to come back from all of these different connectors. So that is one thing to keep in mind. So while the GA4 native connector seems to have, well, it's quoted out, right? It's lost the ability to get more data. The other reports, the other tools are getting data. So that one was pretty fast but it's taking quite a long time. So that is you know, another consideration when you're building your dashboards is do you need the data to be a little fast? Because um, honestly, we can't, like, we can't wait for this much time, right? Okay, so there, like every little thing can't take forever. Otherwise, the report is just so painful to use. Okay, so two minute reports loaded up. Wait, oh, Power My Analytics loaded up. They have the same data. That's nice, just waiting for Supermetrics. Okay, Supermetrics is just taking way too long. So the other ones seem to have pulled up data. They have the same data. Sometimes Supermetrics takes forever. Sometimes Power My, oh, there it goes. Sometimes Power My Analytics takes forever. Sometimes two minute reports takes forever. They all seem to have varying degrees of time that it takes for them to uh, return the data. But I think the bottom line here, if we were to extract some learnings, is that third party connectors do seem to be able to return some data, right? And this is obviously a super small data set. There's not a ton of scorecards, not a ton of blending. Like imagine getting to a point where you have much more complexity in your report um, and using a third party connector. So like, I think the learning is like it may still work 
for you if you're willing to wait a long time. <laughs> like these seem to be getting, not getting around, but while GA4 native connectors is timing out, it's getting the quota error, these other connectors are still working. And I think partly because of the way they do their caching. So is it, there's still a lot of questions I have whether this is just cached in my browser, like how much of this data is cached in my browser versus how much is cached at their data source level. What is going to happen when we add in much more concurrent requests from users, right? So let's say we have a report and there's 10 users viewing it at the same time. All 10 people are changing day ranges, changing filters, things like that. So what would happen there? But um, in this super simple test where we are just pitting these connectors against the GA4 connector, these third party tools are still returning data while the GA4 is not. So maybe that is the end of the story there. Personally, I don't think it's still usable in terms of client reporting because of the speed um, and just what's gonna happen when you scale usage up more. So more people, more concurrent requests, more complex reports. Um, so yeah, that is, I guess, the findings. Here we go. Uh, let me know if what your thoughts are. Let me know if you guys have a planned solution. What are you going to do about this GA4 thing? I look forward to hearing from you.